Hi guys, and today we're going to answer another question. And who have we got this week, matey? Let's guess. Oh, it's Dicko. Dicko HD, welcome back to the show. And he says, I'm back from the bo- my buy boy, round boys. Can't speak. I'm back from my buy round boys. With a hopefully good enough question for you guys to answer this week. Hopefully better than that sentence. <laughs> <laughs> My question is, do you guys believe that if Dangerfield stayed in Adelaide that he would be closer to becoming a premiership player or has his move to Geelong increased or decreased his, his chances of winning a premiership? And was better than that sentence. So It's a great question, though. It's very good, and that's why you're on the show. So Yeah, exactly right. <laughs> Get so, rewarded. It was a good one. What well, do you reckon? It's really hard to say. I mean, it is, like, it's a great question. I'd love to give you a great answer, but I'll just give you some somewhat vague thoughts, and they're pro- <laughs> probably just going to sit slightly on the fence. I'll try not to, but probably wherever Dangerfield goes increases the side's chance of winning a premiership. Wow. So, if you know what I mean, it's like, wow. does the side influence him or is he that good of a Like, he's come to Geelong and you could argue he's brought us from, you know, a top six chance or a fifth or sixth chance into a top, genuine top four chance. Wow. So, which, as we say, you've got to make top four to win a flag. So, how much of control does he have? We've seen him leave Adelaide and all of a sudden they're, you know, they're doing fine. Um, yep. Who's closer to a flag? I mean, I guess basically the question, who's closer to a flag, Geelong or Adelaide? Uh, it's really hard to say. I, I don't really know. I mean, right now, Adelaide, you'd have to say they are the form team of the comp, so right now you'd probably say slightly to them, but I think there's a massive stretch to go, and I think it looks likely that um, Adelaide and Geelong will feature in the top five to six teams. Yeah, um, hopefully. And I guess Danger didn't just come along to win a flag in 2016. He yep. would have had an eye towards, you know, he wants to win one this year, but he would have an eye to the future and, of course, all the other decisions he came in to make that call. But, you know, I, I almost can't say. I mean, you almost feel as if right now Adelaide are closer to winning one this year, just on form. True. But I really do think that Dangerfield, wherever he goes just makes that team so much better and perhaps has been of better benefit to us because he's plugged a need that perhaps was more of a void to us than Adelaide. I guess Very true, yeah. facts might say that because they've filled the danger field spot pretty well over four rounds, mind you. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. That's the best I got for you, Dick. I, I swayed on the fence there for you, but I, they're, <clears throat> they're my thoughts, so... Hopefully you like those, but uh, what do you reckon, mate? It sums up pretty well, which is good. Oh, thanks, mate. Hey, you're welcome. Uh, yeah, it's very tough to say. It's nearly impossible to answer, but, oh, yeah. I can't disagree with what you're, you're saying, mate. I, I think currently uh, Adelaide looking very good, and maybe they're better equipped to win a premiership maybe this year, but that's off four rounds. Mm. Uh, I, do, I do believe, though, that the game plan they had throughout the preseason and Don Pike's in, introduction – has been fantastic. Mm. They've uh, really had an exciting attacking brand of footy, but they've been defensive as well. Uh, their skills really good. Their structures are very well cemented as well, and that, that'll certainly help them no end. And like when I look at it, if I'm looking at coaches, new 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 coach Don Pike, good side. Off like off rated Adelaide for a long time. I think n- n- hardly anything changed from 2012. When they finished top two and they didn't make the finals in 2013, so I don't really know what happened mm. there. There wasn't many players that just sort of went. They just sort of fell off the perch, or the competition just increased. They did have a nice draw in 2012, but yeah, when I look at it, Don Pike versus Chris Scott. I think oh, Scott is going to get probably a good out coach from say a Don Pike in this instance. So mm. which leads me to believe that they would finish further in September if we were to both make it in theory. So. Yeah, it's very tough. Yeah, if I look is. at it from a coach perspective, I think Don Pike will beat us. Mm. Um, so, yeah, very tough. As you said, he makes a side, whichever side is in, a lot better. And uh, you know, depth is increased. And as you said, he fills in a nice void for us, which we've needed to fulfil. But, yeah, look, it's only impossible to answer. We can predict and try and have a crystal ball here and we still won't get it right. But, yeah, yeah we I mean, we could, yeah, present for and against cases for both clubs and things like that. And then you could 
quite easily take either side. I guess that's how close it is. Yeah. yeah. Well, well going, going by recent performances from Geelong and what we can expect from them, what they can do, um, yeah, maybe Adelaide, but it's a long season. It's a bit of a marathon, so we'll wait and see. Uh, let me just have a re-look at the question. Yeah, premiership players. So you're talking about it over a course of time, I guess. So, mm. yeah, both those teams could be in the mix anyway. So. Well, that's it. I mean, I was looking at sort of the age of lists and things too, and neither club is, you know, dropping Old. off the perch yeah. or neither is much younger than one or the other, at least from what I've been looking at. So They're very similar teams. couldn't really mount a case for, oh, in 2019, such and such would probably be, you know, dropping down. So, yep. Mm. Intriguing. Yeah, that's about all I've got for you as well, DK. Uh, I think we're both probably sitting on the fence here with that answer, but probably leaning more towards Adelaide at this current stage. Can Do I you, ask DK a question? Yeah, yeah, I would say leaning towards, at least for say, yeah. like this exact point in time, after four rounds of footy, yeah. Yeah. Ask me in five it? weeks, but... Yeah, you got a question for DK. Well, where's the video's gone, mate? I know he slightly answered it on text style, but... Yeah. I don't know, I just... Give us some feedback, Dicko, on... Yeah, it's very abrupt. You're very keen on doing the vids. And then See all later. of a sudden, I clicked on to the Dicko Sports or whatever it was, and it was gone. See you later. So, yeah, it's interested to see the, the reasoning behind it. Okay, there you go. There's your question, Dicko, and there's your answer. Question answered. <laughs> yeah. So, there you go. <clears throat> uh, feel free to comment, guys. Go for it. Uh, don't forget to like the video, share it around as well. It'd be fantastic. And to subscribe as well would be great. Thanks. Thank you for hanging around. We'll see you all next time.